Your house and your kingdom shall endure before me, and your throne shall stand firm forever. Today we hear God's promise to David through the prophet Nathan. In the context, David wants to build God a house. He laments the fact that while he, David, has a beautiful house to live in, God's dwelling is still a tent, the one which was brought through the wilderness. God's response is, that's nice, David, but I don't need you to build me a house. Actually, you're the one who needs me to build you a house. And not a building, but a royal house. A dynasty. And not just a dynasty, an everlasting one. A promise that, as we mentioned the other day, is fulfilled in Christ. David is reminded that it is not he who is helping God out. And you know, sometimes we think that's what we're doing when we follow God's will or when we help out someone in need. We're helping God, and God's so lucky that he has us helping him out. However, our attitude should actually be the opposite. We are the ones who are lucky to have God helping us out. And he does. And he does it in ways that we see, and in many ways that we're maybe not able to see just yet. So let us today, as we start to close out this Advent season, put aside our own pride and reflect on the great things that God has done and is doing for us. Mm -hmm.